Hey, this is Adam Hickman from Foxhound Bee Company. This is a video that we're gonna talk all about Viroxan. So this is the, min right now, this is the minimum size that you can get. And this is 60 strip. So this is a brand new product available in the United States. And if you are using this or you know somebody who has ordered it, more than likely it came from us because we really hustled to get this product into the US as quickly as we could and got it out to our customers as quickly as we could. It's a new product, so there's a lot of learning that we've got to do about this new product on the market. We've already put it in our hives, or one of our hives, just to kind of test it out and see how it goes. I kind of wanted to show you the product and give you an idea of what it looks like, what you get, how it's kind of currently packaged, and then also some instructions. So the, the people who make this product, Broxan, are, by the bee health. So they make Apigard, you know, the, the green box and the green tub with the little foil trays. So that is uh, Apigard and they are the manufacturers of uh, Viroxan. But Viroxan comes from South America and it is a product that has been around in South America for a long time, but it's now available in the US, which is really great. It all of a sudden has been really supportive of a lot of different mite treatments to, and that's honestly awesome because it, beekeepers haven't had a lot of support over the years with new products. So the EPA has pushed uh, some new things uh, through and Viroxan is one of those. So if you, let me give you an idea about what Viroxan is. So it is an oxalic acid treatment. So this is the mint right now, this is the minimum size that you can get. And this is 60 strips. And the only ingredients that are in here is oxalic acid a cardboard matrix or a cardboard strip, and then glycerin as well. So if you paid attention to oxalic acid over the years, you know the glycerin OA and cardboard is a really popular uh, product that beekeepers are using. They're using oxalic acid off label and they're trying to do their own mite treatments. And fortunately we don't have to do those anymore. But with doing it correctly comes with a lot of rules. So that's what all these, this label right here has all these details on it. And this label with the with the skull and crossbones right here has a lot of information about PPE and, and that type of thing. So, but the good thing is, is it is a really great product and it is safe for honey. Varroa mites have no natural resistance to the OA as far as we know. There's no results for that. So you can use it with honey and it's got a long treatment period. It actually covers three brood cycles so that it will actually kill mites over a longer period of time. This is the pack that we opened up and I'm gonna kind of show you what these actually look like. So I was actually surprised when I got these that they are a smaller than I expected. I've seen Aloe and Cap, which is another product that's similar to this. I was at Apomondia last year, I think it was, and I got to see that product, which is the same thing, just kind of a different brand. And, um, and this is a very similar product. So you can see these are the strips right here. So. Let's see, they come out. So they're very, they're, they're heavy for what they are because it's this cardboard and they're saturated in this like glycerin oxalic acid uh, mixture. So this is the strip right here. It's nice and kind of, it's like pliable. Like you could tear this if you wanted to. It's, you know, it's not like dripping wet or anything like that, but you can tell like it, it is moist and it is wet. So if you, um, you're supposed to store these under 85 degrees, Right now, the package directions say that when you do open this, you want to make sure you, you use the entire package, but they may change that. So it's just a, it's, it's in a uh, plastic bag, it's cryovac, and that's how they, they have sold it to us. When I was saying I was kind of surprised, I thought that the strip would go over the entire like deep frame like this, but you're supposed to actually like fold it in half. So you fold it like this, and then it goes over the frame like this, and it just hangs. So this is actually how it's gonna go into the brood nest. The instructions for it, let me read it. So like, so Viroxan, they came out with these, like this really great FAQ, FAQ, and it's got 23 different questions on there to kind of help explain uh, like how you do this. And I'll put the link so that you can see it. But it is uh, one strip. So this is one strip for every two and a half frames of bees, FOB. So FOB doesn't stand for frames of brood, it stands for frames of bees. 
So one thing that I thought was really interesting about this product is you can use it with honey boxes on, but according to the label, you would put a maximum of four strips in a, in a single brood box, whether that is uh, eight frame or 10 frame, you would do a max of four strips. So let's say theoretically, you put your honey boxes on in March and you've got a double deep and then you queen excluder and then two more medium boxes on top. So you can put your oxalic acid strips on at the exact same time you put your honey boxes on, but you would put up to four strips in that bottom box. Directions say there needs to be one box separation from where the strips are to where the, the honey boxes are. You don't take these strips and just load up all the boxes and say, you know, four is good, eight is better. It's a waste of money, it's a waste of product, and that's, on, that's not what the directions say. So don't do that. And then it also says, let's say that same scenario, four strips in that bottom box, and it says add up to two more strips in that second box. So as far as I can understand, theoretically, the most strips you would have on a box is six. So it'd be four in the bottom box, and there'd be two in that second box if there is brood in there, definitely. One thing I, I also read on here that if you use medium boxes, so when I started beekeeping, I used medium boxes for everything. I didn't use any deep boxes at all. So the way that you should treat it if you use medium boxes is two medium boxes is equal to one deep box, okay? So the rule still kind of applies about keeping the bromide or the Varoxan separate from the honey, but you do want to make sure that you treat two medium boxes just like you would treat one deep boxes. Let's say if you're doing medium boxes and you've got 20 frames of brood and that's kind of your brood nest, you wouldn't put four strips in each box and use eight strips. It seems like the, the max that you would use on a hive is a total of six strips. And that would be in the bottom two boxes unless you've got honey boxes on and then it would just be in the very bottom box. You'd always want a gap of at least one box between the two of them. So package directions, this is what the case looks like. So if you get a case of it, it's 10 of these packs in it. So directions are, let's say frames of bees, one strip, two and a half, zero to two and a half frames of bees, two strips for three to five frames of bees, three strips for six to seven and a half frames of bees, and then uh, four strips for eight to 10 frames of bees, okay? Also, when you put this in, you're not putting them all on the same frame. Instructions say that you put one strip on and then you have a frame and the, without a strip, and then you would put the next strip on the next frame. So you're kind of checkerboarding it. Think about it like that, if you know that term. So it's every other frame in the hive, and you're kind of put your, the, the way that this oxalic acid is working is the bees are touching it. They don't want it in their hive. They're touching it, they're ripping it apart. They're carrying it out of their hive. Usually they're not gonna break this in half and carry it out of the hive, but we all know bees are pretty industrious and they, they want things out of their hive. So that can happen. But you want the bees walking around on this. So it is really most effective in like the spring when you have a really kind of crowded crowded box you want bees touching it you want bees moving it around and like walking on the comb that's how this works a lot better so let's see you can use it you can use it honey you can apply it any time of the day so it's not temperature sensitive so it's not like apigard which is temperature sensitive you can put this on in the morning in the evening you know when we sell formic pro to people if it's going to be a warm day, we always tell people like put it on in the evening so that it goes through about eight to 12 hours of cool weather before it starts peaking up again. So there's no temperature restrictions on this product, which is kind of nice. Let's see, talk about that. You can move it around. Like I said, it's most effective when the bees are touching it and, and, and messing with it. So sometimes when you put a foreign material like this in a hive, they may actually move away from it. They'll do that with Apovar just because those strips are down there between the frames. Ideally, you'd have a treatment that was all across the top bars kind of like this, but it's really not the most effective way because if you keep these, you know that they're just going to propolize this down and they're kind of going to ignore it. So that's the most effective way of doing it is actually hanging it. So you have maximum contact with the bees and the chemicals, uh, the oxalic acid. You can treat a nucleus hive. The rule still applies, but just like any treatment with a small colony, instead of putting a, the full dose on right away, you might want to break it out. So let's say if you had five frames of bees in a nuke, 
you may just do one strip and then a week later put another strip on there so it's not like the full dose right away. Oxalic acid is pretty mild and this is a long exposure. So, you know, it's not like Formic Pro where it's just really harsh really quickly. It's oxalic acid is, is really mild. So you can definitely do, do it on nukes, which is a great, good thing for, for if you're raising bees in the spring and, and splitting them. So you can, you can actually treat a nuke. So the timing works out really, really nicely. So let's see, uh, let me show you the, uh, what this looks like a little bit more. So this is it's what this looks like. It's really just kind of packed in here. So like I can pull this entire kind of wad of strips out of here like this. You can see they're definitely cardboard strips. So, you know, talking to the Vita B guys, you know, this isn't like, you can't just chop up your Amazon box. You can't chop up your Amazon box and, and melt glycerin and oxalic acid together and pour it on there. So the reason that this works great and this particular cardboard works great, it's applying the same amount of oxalic acid over time. So if you know anything about the work that Randy Oliver was doing, you know, he was trying different mediums and different Swedish sponges and the uh, shop towels and pig mats, all those things. He was trying all these different things because he wanted to have the right amount of OA being applied to the bees over an extended period of time. You didn't want them to chew it out immediately and you didn't want it to stay in there forever and then propolize it down. So this particular cardboard matrix applies the OA at the correct amount over the right amount of period of time, which is 42 to 56 days. So you're supposed to put this, these strips in and then take them out between 42 and 56 days. And then it's great at keeping your mite levels low. I'm really curious how it does. If you have a really, really high mite level, I'm really curious what it will do in the summer to drop that really quickly. I don't have a hive with a lot of mites out there. So I can test it on there. They say you can use it any time of the year, works best in the spring, in the fall or the autumn. But I'm a fan of this. I think it fits a really good niche for beekeepers and will make a lot of beekeepers happy and will make a lot of row mites unhappy. So if you wanna learn more about this product, I've got a really great product page with lots of information. And then I also have a really great blog about it too. That you can call the store and, and talk to us about it and ask us questions, but we, we put a lot of good resources online. And if you are wanting it, I would order it because it is in very short supply. So it's not an unlimited product. You can't get it from anywhere. As far as I know, us at Foxtown, we're the only place in the United States that has it in stock and is shipping it right now. So I encourage you to order it if you need it because it, it will sell out again. And we're, gonna, we're, we're hustling to get another shipment of this in as soon as we can. So anyways, I hope you found that really helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, just ping us and we'll do our best to answer those. Thanks again.